Close to 90% of the young people in Uganda are not employed. All the effect of COVID-19, even those that were employed, turn out to be unemployed. However, number of them have decided to peek out on a section that they can concentrate more to earn a living in Uganda. Being a medical worker, I tried my opportunities all by using my professional base, but it failed because of the situation on the ground. I am Elizabeth, sitting in for Colin Namiro, and this is the Creative Think Tank. My name is Dalar Patrick Kermu. I'm a born of Zumbu district, but currently staying in Arua, Zambia, in, in specific. And the business I'm operating currently is in Taxi Park in Arua. Today we meet a young entrepreneur who is a medic by profession. However, he's decided to push through to the business entrepreneurship world. How does that come up? Is what we are studying really necessary? But yes, we are striving to earn a living. So today he clearly tells us how he has started out his shoe business in Arua town. Uh, I started my own with clothes. We just get them in bills, sell them, and make money. But I had, uh, I had an uncle who could support. Because of the struggle he saw, and being a medical worker, who decided to not now focus on my papers. Well, how is it that you can start up a business with a small amount of capital? Uh, young people do have the notion of starting up a capital needs a huge sum of money. But hey, this is Uganda. We do not need a huge sum of money. Believe me, you, you could start a business with just 20,000 Ugandan shillings. But how much effort are you putting in as a person? He shares with us how he started up his business with the help of people around him and with the belief that he got from the people around him. I just started the only a bill of 350. Started increasing and it went to the second and I started bringing like three, four bills and I sell them in a week's time. The remaining one I give to a sister who helps me out and finishes up as I get again a new bill. So he had to shift me out and told me with the capital you have, you're going to add on to something and then you open up. Uh, a, a shoe gallery or a shoe shop and that is how I came into this. A number of times people say they believe it when they see it. They believe it when they see you doing something. In Uganda today you cannot be helped out by a number of people unless they do see the effort that you put in as a young individual. He has a few words to tell the young people when it comes to startups and entrepreneurship. To those youths outside there who are starting their businesses, if they give you, the best example I can say is, uh, if you go in an adoption home to go and adopt a kid, no one will go for a, a neonate or a baby who is not footing, but you always go for a, for at least a kid who is walking. Uh, taking care of that kid will be easier, because that kid will be footing or moving or walking, will not have a lot of demands, compared to the one who is a neonate who doesn't foot. So I advise those youths, start up something so that I can motivate someone who has the money or the capital you don't have to support you. When you sit and you don't do anything, no one will ever support you. You always get support when you do something. Never be a nunet, but be a baby. Well, this has been the end of this episode of the Creative Think Tank. Don't forget, my name is Elizabeth, sitting in for Colin Namiro. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel that is Faraja Television and also follow us on all our social media platforms that is Faraja Television on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn. Have a lovely week.